So now come up, take a deep breath. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Mantra Om Bhur Bhuvar Swaha Tasya Virur Pranenyam Vargo Devasya Demahi Dhyo Yonaha Prachodaya Om Bhur Bhuvar Swaha Tasya Virur Pranenyam Bargo Devas Yade Mahi Dio Yonaha Prachodaya. Now we rub our hands, try to get energy from the universe. And that warm energy, put it on your eyes, get the blessing from the earth. And then <clears throat> we will. Just kneel down and get the blessing from Mother Earth. Come back up. Hands in the prayer position. Om Shanti 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 <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> So today we are going to do gentle yoga, where we will stress more on our uh, <clears throat> just the flexibility and warm up access, warm up asanas. I'll try not to use the word exercise, but it may interact, uh, interchange. So these warm up asanas are so essential for the mobility of our joint, flexibility, and strength training. So now we'll start with our hands. Okay, and things to remember, whenever we uh, <clears throat> inhale, it's expansion, exhale. So we know that inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Then we do our hands up and down. So up is inhale, exhale, always down. Inhale, exhale. But I may not say too many times, inhale, exhale, everyone is a unique individual. They will do at their own pace. So this wrist, then we have again uh, fingers, we just push it. Then I'm putting my thumb, fold it, wrap it around and make a fist. Go around at least six times clockwise and then <clears throat> Counterclockwise, right? All of you are aware of this. This helps with the flexibility of joints. As we know, last 48 hours, we had a lot of uh, <clears throat> cold, rainy weather, which makes our joints stiff in the morning. So this is the best exercise or asanas you can do for yourself. <clears throat> For the shoulders, then <clears throat> extend. Try to <clears throat> whenever I do put on my shoulder, I put the cup so like this. So it helps me with my fingers too. Hmm? Then I'm going to do my elbows. We come in, <clears throat> inhale, and as you come out, <clears throat> exhale. Inhale is expansion, okay? Exhalation is contraction. So anytime expand, lots of oxygen, and do at your own pace. You want to count, you can, but I, <clears throat> and then this is, we are doing counterclockwise. One, two, three. <clears throat> Okay, now arms, 
Extend your arms and then your hands, and we're going to do like a flying up an angel. Just one, two, three, four, five. Then you can do counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> back the center and just breathe we are going to do it at a slow pace this asanas also extends helps with our shoulder helps with our elbows and helps with our uh, <clears throat> hands and the fingers so this is if in the morning if you can't do anything just get up and just do this and rotate back it's really good for your fingers, the hands, <clears throat> the elbow. <clears throat> now, I'm going to do this my right hand. I'm going to bring it back. As you all know that before, and left hand will go on my right knee. Come back up. <clears throat> then we do other side. You can do three times. Extend your neck. Try to look at the back. If you can, your back ear. Just focus. Pay attention to your breath. Come back to the center. Okay, now we're going to do the forehead. This is really good for patients who suffer from this migraine or they may have headaches on these rainy days. You just press on. And just focus on your breath. Breathe in and then you can exhale. That's the time you push your <clears throat> head forwards. So I always say, breathe in a positive energy. Breathe out the negative and hold on to the present breath. Now we will do the head, okay? Press. <clears throat> now I'm gonna do the hands and I will also try to see if we can Bend your four fingers and try to uh, touch. You know, the end of the finger we have, it is at the acupressure points, and it's so important for, and it has many benefits. Maybe in future, we can go over each and every uh, bone in your hands. As you know, in the entire body, we have about 370 bones and about 350 joints. And we can talk about that in a future sessions. Now just breathe in and just focus on your breath. This is a warm up, so now you're just stretching in your lungs. <clears throat> breathe in. Just feel your breath. And feel the vibration. After this, you're going to breathe in and you go to the neck rotation, you go towards your right <clears throat> shoulder, and this can be done very slowly, like clockwise, clockwise positions, like, you know, going from backwards and then go left. Come back to the center, right, come back to the center, left. Now this is good for cervical spondylitis and even people have a back pain because all of our nerves goes in the back of the neck cervical region. So gradually at your own pace, let's do the rotation clockwise. You just breathe in and when you go up to your uh, nine o'clock position on your left um, shoulder, after that you just exhale. Inhale from the three and then exhale from the nine. Exhale and you inhale as you come up. Exhale as you go down. Okay. All right. 
After this, neck, we are going to the feet. Yesterday we did the other way around. So I will try with the, <clears throat> in our Dandasana position, we'll just do like fingers, stretch your fingers and the toes like this. Okay, keeping your ankle grounded on the ground, on the floor. And then we will do alternate ankle. This is good for plantar fasciata. It improves the lymphatic drainage. This exercise or asana you can do even in bed before you put your feet. It's good for people above age 55 or even younger who have plantar fasciata as we all wear heels and our ankle does get ruined. And, uh, <clears throat> so you go, now you do rotate clockwise and then counterclockwise. Then we are going to do our knee and head. Okay, so from toes, which we to ankle, now the knee, as you all have seen, which Bakulbai teaches us, put your hands and then wrap it around your <clears throat> toes, and then with your right <clears throat> hand, you just try to push your left knee down. Please do it at your own pace, as some people with physical limitation may have difficulty going all the way to the ground as i cannot do that but then you bring it in breathe in breathe out try to press it this is good before we do our um, <clears throat> butterfly posture too so you get it ready and then i'll do one more then we switch side and we'll do the left side push it down And people have different variation, like left side on the body and right side. As you know, most of the people who are right-handed, you know, maybe on the left side, maybe different. Predominant side is different, and you breathe in. Take one minute. <clears throat> now, okay, one, two, erect posture. Okay. All right, now we will change this to our butterfly, which is my favorite. Uh, I learned from my mom, who can do it all the way to the ground, but I cannot. So we have our hands, we put it, wrap it around, and you can just do as far. Make a circle, just, this is good to open up our hips, our quadriceps muscles. As we know, when we are one young, we do a lot of strength exercise, makes the muscles very tight, especially early in the morning. So this is a good warm-up, butterfly. <clears throat> and some women can flip it. Now we go rock right and left, right and left. Make sure you're breathing well and do it at your own pace. Slow, gentle yoga. But some people may like to do very, very fast. They can do that too. Okay. Focus on the vibration you may feel within your body. <clears throat> this asana is really good for reducing the fat around your hips and hip mobility. As you know, as we are done, advanced in age, hip joint is the first one to get really stiff. <clears throat> so continue that. Then also you can do the rocking moment. Here you may want to just do like a quiet mantra to yourself, ground, <coughs> ground yourself. This is the time you can just say, I'm going to stay in the present moment because present moment is the gift given to me. I'm going to ex exhale the past, past is history. I'm going to inhale the future, which is truly a mystery. 
Now, I'm having difficulty with bending down, but I know in the past you all have gone down. So those who have flexibility, try to touch your um, forehead to the ground as low as you can go. But those with physical limitation like me may not be able to do up to the floor. So just bring it up gradually up. <clears throat> yeah, this is good. You have a <clears throat> person is showing you how to do that. That's great. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you for showing that posture. You may do that again if you like. Just breathe in. Breathe out. Just we have been doing these asanas and pranayam, but there are eight limbs of yoga. So these are the only two limbs we are using. And I'll talk about what I learned in the Tantra class about other eight limbs, <coughs> which is <coughs> good. You can see the person who can do it. Very good. Now you can change it, and we are going to. <clears throat> Anyone can see it's Sukhasan, Padmasan, and then we try to just from our wrist. This is flexibility of the wrist. Go as far as you can. Make sure your this arm is like this. And try to look at your right thumb. That's fine. <clears throat> <clears throat> Keep up straight and then try to go on your <clears throat> right. Just breathe in, breathe out. Gradually in slow motion, bring it back up. We will do the other side one more time. Okay, let me breath in, ground yourself again. So in between, you can always do it at your own pace. Just breathe in, breathe out. So we're doing most of our warm, warming up. Like things have gone. Now, <clears throat> we're going to do Namaskar. Parvat Asana. You will breathe in. You have done this before. And you extend your arm and put your both the forearm close to the your shoulders, close to your ears. You breathe in right now. Then as you come down, you're going to breathe out. Put it on your crown chakra. And after that, you're going to put on your anaratha chakra. Now I'll let you do at your own pace. This is... And this is the time you can focus on your inner self, your inner galaxy. As you know, your inner galaxy is much wider than outer world. Within, on your crown chakra. You extend as much as you can. <clears throat> Okay, Anasa Chakra. A couple of more times. Do it at your own pace. Crown Chakra. Inhale. This is one of the mountain pose one can do every day if you don't have enough time. It extends each and every joint. It's good for our neck, shoulder, and also our head. Emotionally, it helps, decreases your anxiety, improves your mood, helps with your flexibility and strength of the neck muscles. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> keep whenever you're doing this, keep smiling, keep smile on your face because this is yoga, but it's at the same time meditation of mind, body, and soul connecting to our breath. OK. 
Okay. Now we are going to do it like Nan Mudra. You touch your uh, thumb to your middle <coughs> finger, remain in the Nan Mudra, and I'm going to just show you this Bhasriga Pranayam as we stopped yesterday. Also, there are different variations, but this is just to ground yourself. So deep inhale in and out. We do this 20 times and afterwards I'm also going to show you the one which do a real warm up. But this one we are just expanding our lungs. As we have to think of when we came in first breath, the baby is blue. Doctors open up the lungs become pink. Then the last breath, just before the soul goes away from the body, it becomes blue. So between the first breath and the last breath, we are so busy. This is the only time we have to connect. So let's just connect because this is the only present we have. In, out. In, out. In, out. In, Awareness of your breath, make sure you don't fall asleep because this is an active process. It's okay. <clears throat> After this, we are going to do the Surya Nadi, and in the Surya Nadi, we are going to breathe in from our Right nostrils, so we have this thumb, you put this thumb on your right side and this index finger and middle finger, you can bend it and put it at the base of the thumb. The way I do it is just breathe in and out from your right side. This is Surya Nadi, is only from breathe in and out from your right nostril. <clears throat> when you're finishing, finish from the exhalation from your right nostril. Come back and just relax. After the Surya Nadi, I'm going to do Surya Betna. As you all know, Surya Betna is from breathing in from the right, breathing out from the left. So do at your own pace. Breathe in, breathe out. Good to have that quiet silence. Silence is a solitude. When you remain in this silence, even the busy work schedule <coughs> seems mundane. And even if there's a darkness, there is light. Stay in the silence and the solitude. Peaceful stay. And just keep on saying, peace is my property. Okay, after this Surya Nadi, we are going to do Kapal Bhati. In the Kapal Bhati, as we, there are different ways of doing it, the way I'm going to just show is Kapal Bhati inhalation is passive and exhalation is active. Um, so we will do that. And in that one, there are different people do it differently. 
you can do the way you're used to. I'm going to just go teach, breathe in. And then as you breathe out, you put your belly button to your spine and So see this exhalation is active. Inhalation is passive. People do this 10 to 15 minutes early in the morning. That's only the way this cures each and every disease state. It uh, <clears throat> circulates, it allows the oxygen to circulate at a higher rate. So your skin becomes shiny, and that's why it's kapal, as you know, some of the swamis and yogis, you look at it, the forehead is always shining. Is that shine comes from supreme above or it's the effect of the oxygen all together. So let's try now. This, we are going to just do this for a few minutes. Then I am going to do the Nimudra where we keep our thumb out and wrap around <clears throat> and just focus. This is really good for your concentration, attention span, and ability to focus. This, if you want to teach your children, if they do that from age 10 to 16, their IQ can easily raise by 30 points. Here you have to keep your mind blank, like a blank slate. Any thoughts comes in your mind, multiply by zero, make it zero. Blank slate. And just focus on this. Here. After this, let's extend our... Legs make our uh, <clears throat> hips apart. Then you look up, inhale, and as you exhale, try to touch your toes. <clears throat> I'm not that flexible, but me, okay, I'm able to touch my toes. When I first started with Bakul Pai, um, I was unable to touch. So this is a great progress. Okay, inhale. And exhale. <clears throat> Some people can put their head on the floor. Those are advanced yogis. I'm just showing you the beginner stage. So the advanced yogi, you can focus on the screen. That's great. Hopefully, one day I might be able to do that. Okay, great. Now, if anyone is having cramps in their thighs, just... Okay. Now we try to touch our left toe. And you can see... <clears throat> try to put your left hand up, try to look at the thumb. Now, that one left hand will go onto the right toe, and then you look at your right thumb up to the ceiling or to the side. If you're outside, just put it here. And you do again. <clears throat> Okay, look up. This is good for your waist flexibility. Now we're going to do the shoulder. Go towards the left. Right. Right. Okay. And try to touch your right toe. And advanced people can touch their forehead to their knee. I will just stay up to the toe on my feet. And breathe in, breathe out. Make sure everyone is breathing in, breathing out. If anyone feels dizzy, lightheaded, 
take time, going to Savasana, try to relax. Because this is a gentle yoga. Do at your own pace. And as you come down, you exhale. If you come up, you inhale. As you come down, you turn around and you exhale. Look up. And exhale, try to touch the toe. And you can count whenever you feel uncomfortable, come back up. We'll do one more time. Okay, and there are young people who are more flexible or yogis who have done this for a long duration. Okay. Just try to touch the door. <clears throat> Come back up. Okay. <clears throat> now, we are going to do, <clears throat> it's called one leg extended forward bend it is also known as Janur Sirsasana. We will bend our left, put your left heel to the perineum, and then exhale, try to uh, hold, um, touch your right toe. Janur Sirsasana. Okay, and try to fold as long as you can. Come back up. Then <clears throat> advanced people can do advanced way of touching, but at this time I will not. Advanced person can do like this, but I stick to the <clears throat> my original way. But there are lots of modification, and Bakulbai has taught us about different. So now I will go on my right. So I keep my left leg straight, keep my right um, heel to my perineum. This Janusi Sashna is so important. As I don't know if you've seen uh, Rama, uh, Baba Ramdev Swami said that this exercise is really good for your attention span. It's good for celibacy of taste, touch. So this is a very important asanas and yogis practice from early childhood. <clears throat> so they remain, they can practice the yogic life. But for us, it's good for our hip. So, okay. <clears throat> Come back up. I may do one more time. Because <clears throat> if you're having cramps, you just extend and inhale, bring it down. <clears throat> Exhale, come down. Come back up. Do one more. It's finished. Now, with this, we are going to do the grinding. This is really good for your waist. You will this in order to lose the abdominal fat. You can go this one from left to right. One, two, do at your own pace. As you know, when we go down, it's exhale. When we come up, exhale. So this is clockwise we're doing. Then, in a minute, we just do at your own pace. If some people see in India, all these ladies have a good, strong app, the one who makes trash. <laughs> Gently do at your own pace. This is really good for your back or your lumbar region, starting from cervical region, all the way down to thoracic and lumbar and sacral. Now we do counterclockwise. One, two, this is good. I'm glad to see others. Uh, they can reach their toes. Okay, great. <clears throat> After this, make sure your 
This is great. <clears throat> it's good to see others as I'm not an advanced yogi, so I have physical limitation, but it's great to learn as Dr. Bakul Bhai said, try, you need to try. Okay, now we're gonna extend that. <clears throat> Just roll this one. Back. Or if you can touch. Right. Come back to the center. This is another extension. Just loosen up all our joints so we can do the Sudanamaskar well. And it's always good to do warm ups before Sudanamaskar. And people may have advanced way of. Just bend it from the waist and come back up. Okay. <clears throat> now, just try to focus for yourself. Make sure you are in a relaxed place, relaxed face. <clears throat> now, I'm going to do the two legged. <clears throat> Two-legged forward bend. These two legs are out there. We are sitting and we are forward bending. Two-leg seated forward bend. I think all of you know it because you are in advanced movies. But you can hold on to as long as you can. Okay. Now, yeah, good. Let's do this. Okay. I like that. Great. Others are doing wonderful. All right. Let's take a deep breath in. Ground yourself. Because this is not a cardio. Sometimes it can feel like that. But this is a slow motion, gentle yoga. It will help with the strength training. As you advance in age, strength is so important. With the strength comes the balance. Balance on your feet and <clears throat> forward. Okay, great. Now, you can do a spinal twist. Where I can just simple spinal twist, I'll be doing where I can just put my legs in uh, Dandasana and just bend this. Advanced people have advanced way of doing it. I'm just going to put my left hand back and just do it this way. The others who do it like this, whichever work suits you. So this will be good for our knees and also our quadriceps, hamstrings. Again, our biceps too. And as one of the person was saying, we are all building muscles here. The computer may break. <laughs> all right. And then we go on the other side. Uh, and okay, back. Okay. Um, the other way, and then we come back. If your feet, my thighs, if your lot of muscle mass can hurt, just shake it up, shake it up. Now, uh, that one's going to be for fun. Now, I am going to be doing extension from the before we do the balasana. We you sit on this portion and extend, extend, and try to go into. I like to do it turning around, putting your head down, and just going to balasana. Just ground yourself, put your forehead. On the left, breathe in, breathe out, 
check each and every part of your body. This is the best relaxing posture. This leg is called Bal Asana. Just like when baby is in mom's tummy. So peaceful, so graceful. That's the stage you should be feeling. Peaceful and blissful. Breathe up. Gradually come up at your own pace. And if you go rapidly, you may feel lightheaded. So take your own time. Back up. Now you will be standing cautious. <coughs> And you can sit here. Yeah, let's just fast forward there. <clears throat> you can sit in the front. Put your uh, butt on your two heels or in between the two heels you can do. And then this is also good for your abdominal fat. It makes your muscles tight. So you just extend with your, you know, make your thumb in, finger wrap around. And I'll just do one time only as well. <clears throat> I <don't> understand you. <clears throat> then you press in and then you just go. I think some of you might be doing better than I, so just breathe in. And look at it. Don't put your uh, <clears throat> chin to the ground. Some people can, but I like it up. Just look up, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out and then come back. All right, <clears throat> take a deep breath. Now, <clears throat> understanding postures. <clears throat> All right, after this, just gradually take one vertebrae at a time. I know some of you, young person with good health, can easily get up. But I want everyone to just go on their knee and then we can do cat. So let's do tabletop, tabletop posture. And then as you need, we're going to do the cat, cat pose. And after that, I'll do camel pose. So cat stretching, you do inhale, up, smiling, exhale. Put the standing posture. Inhale, exhale. One more set. Inhale, X. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now, come up slowly, put your hand straight, then you just take your right hand and touch your left ankle. Then you check, take your left hand and touch your left ankle. And then just, this is the camera pose. Do it slowly. Okay. The last asana I'm going to do is fast bursting up around because it's good for left right um, mind coordination. And after that, I will be doing standing poses, few poses. I mean, so this is the bursting Earlier, I showed you just a deep inhale and exhale. This is going to be um, a little bit harder because this is going to be the last asana of our warm up. So um, we are going to do inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now one can do at their own pace. This is good for bringing left and right coordination, but inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Great, I'm so glad to see others on the screen. Exhale. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Okay, now, 
Let's take a deep breath. Now we're going to extend ourselves. I'm going to try to get up slowly. And then I'm going to do this extension. Tadasana, just we need to be grounded well. Balance is so important. As people advance in age, I see so many patients having problems with balance. And number one cause of allergies, um, deaths and things is fall. Why do they fall? Because they lose their balance. So this is the great exercise. Tadasana, you do this. And <clears throat> extend. Then you put on your left toe. We do hold it. And then do at your own pace. We'll just do five times down and up. Down. And your palms are facing the sky. Okay. After this, we're going to walk around our mat. Uh, maybe six times we walk clockwise or even just clockwise. And um, we just end on our toes. After that, we'll be walking on our heels. So we're still walking on our toes around the mat. Keep walking. Okay, now we're going to walk on our heel. You can see this. Okay, clockwise, six times, one, two, three. This is good for a plant lymphatic system, for plant per se sciata, like I have problem with my feet, always do up and down, up and down, there's a rocker, but we can do that our own self. Okay, so now that we've done this, I am going to <clears throat> you do trikonasan, which is very simple. We extend your arms and then I will first just this is just little spinal twist. Okay. Oh, I'm going to Okay, now simple Tikhonasana is uh, you have your right, uh, first extend your arms, take your right arm and try to touch your left toe. This is simple Tikhonasana. I know some of you know the others, but this is the way. Look at your fingers up and come back to the center. Then we go to the Maybe two times. Tricorn Asana. Try the pose. Okay. One. And then up. Then. Okay. If we go advance. Okay, after the Konasana, we are going to do try in. Warrior One. Is Warrior One, what I'll do is my right foot, I will make it 90 degrees, my left 45, and just raise my thumb, raise my both hands up, put your ear, shoulders close to your ears, just breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Do at your own pace. Come back down. Now, we will do your left leg. Left leg at 90 degrees. And okay, breathe in. Still. 
hold it, scan your body, and come back up. Okay. And now you do warrior two. That time you put this neck to 90 degrees, knees parallel to the toes. Make sure your knees near go beyond the toes, parallel inside. And this is 45 degrees the back. Okay, now look at your <coughs> right thumb and I'm going to say, Oh, bol bol swaha, tasir vitur valeyam, bargo devasya devani, diyo yo naha, tayo daya. Oh, bol bol swaha, tasir vitur valeyam, bargo devasya devani, diyo yo naha, tayo daya. Okay, now. We come back to the center. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can do one more time of this warrior. Two. One. <clears throat> and we go this. Oh. And we put palm up. Mm -hmm. Getting gift from the God. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, we'll come back to the center. Great. See others advanced yogis. Okay. <clears throat> this. Now, uh, I'm going to show you just, we'll just do the Uttasana. <clears throat> First in the prayer posture, then we breathe in, backward bend, and this one make sure you just back bend just up to the waist. Try to look back, all right, and then come back up in a prayer position. Namaste around your Anahara Chakra. We'll do one more time. Take a deep breath in. Bend. Backward bend. Come back to the center. Then we're going to inhale and we're going to do forward bend. Which is trying to Uttan. Pad Hastasan. Trying to touch your toes. Okay. Take a deep breath in, breathe in, come to Namaskar position. And do one more time, exhalation, exhale, forward bend. Okay. Great. Now we will have our Surya Namaskar. So we will, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> so Bakul Bhai will have our a mantra, which I always like to listen and follow the Surya Namaskar with that. <clears throat> so we will do Surya Namaskar with music, meditation music and mantras. Thank you. Okay, guys, uh, more in front of the mat, just take one step back from the mat. And I will put five Surya Namaskar Mantra music. So just stand for a few seconds, stand in a Tadasan, take rest, few breath in and out while music gets started. And each of the poses, try to stretch a little bit extra. And it's going to be repeated mantra, so you will have enough time to stay in pose.
All right, now after this, I will um, let my friend Kinriji do the other asanas. Right. Thank you, Smita Ben. So I'm putting uh, Kinneri on spotlight. Thanks, thanks, Kinneri. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Thank you, Sita Ben, for leading this portion of the yoga session today. So, since we did sun salutation, let's stand in Tarasan. Take few breaths in and out and relax before we continue with the rest of the yoga session. Now let's do the palm tree pose. So put your leg up, but transfer the body weight on one of the legs and lift the second leg and place the sole against the thigh of the leg and heel pointing upward near perineum area. Inhale, raise both hands up slowly. Once you find balance, you can join both the palms and lock the hands by interlocking the thumbs and gaze at single steady object so you can find more balance. If you are advanced, you can close your eyes. Exhale, come back. Let's do on other side. So transfer body weight on the other leg. 
place the other leg near the thigh. Inhale. Join both the palms up. If you cannot find the balance like this way, you can also do Anjali Mudra in front of chest, whichever is fine. You can try to close eyes for Closing eyes is very difficult. You have to practice more. So try it for a few seconds. Exhale, come back. Let's do the Garudasan, one more balancing pose before we lie down on our back and stomach and do more poses. So for Garudasan, again, it's a balance, balancing pose. Transfer your body weight on one of the leg and take the other leg and wrap around the calf muscle of the other leg by locking the toe. Whichever leg is up, that hand will be out. So after wrapping around the hand, uh, legs, let's wrap around the hands. So right, for me, right thigh is up. So right hand will be outside. Wrap the hands around and gaze at the hand. Exhale, come back. Let's do on the other side. Let me do this one. This time the left thigh is up. So left hand will be outside. Exhale, unwrap the hand and then unwrap the leg. Let's go back to Tadasana again. Take few breaths in and out. Now sit down in Malasana. You can join your palms with the elbow pressing against your knees. Make sure your both heels are flat on the, feet are flat on the mat and heels stuck in the mat. You can also do the variation by putting the right hand on the floor and lifting the left hand up backward 45 degrees and try to look at the left thumb. Exhale, come back. Now place the left hand on the floor and try to take right hand towards back side 45 degrees and look at the right thumb. Exhale, Come back. Now, let's do one more step. Pose Supta Vajrasana before we go into the back pose and stomach poses. So for that, sit in Vajrasana or you can sit in Virasana by taking the hand Sorry, feet outside of your sitting bones, heels on the side, and those who cannot do the complete pose, they can just do it this way by resting their body weight on the elbows, doing halfway, or and those who are flexible, they can go back and place their 
बैक ऑन द मैट थाइस एंड नी टचिंग द ग्राउंड इफ यू हैव टू मेक एडजस्टमेंट मेक एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ योर लेग सो दैट योर लेग्स आर नॉट लिफ्टिंग अप एंड यू विल फील गुड स्ट्रेच इन योर थाइस मसल्स प्लेस बोथ द पाम्स ऑन द थाइस This is Supta Virasana, same as Supta Vajrasana. Only difference is your heels are not under sitting bone. Your body should be very relaxed. When you want to come out of the pose, press your palms against the mat. and support your back and slowly come back to avoid any injury now we will do try pose so for that gradually take your both hands in a palm shape away from your feet so that your torso can be slowly look parallel to the mat try to touch the chin and chest to the ground If your shoulder joints are wide open, relax. You can go further down. But if the shoulder joints are restrained, you may find that your body is little bit up from the mat. But gradually, with the shoulder open exercise or the yoga poses, you will be able to achieve this. Slowly walk your hands palms back towards your body and gradually move up your torso instead of getting up quickly and having any back injury now let's lie down on stomach place both the hands in on mat on top of each other your toes pointing out feet one feet apart and place your face either on right side or left side raised on the hands this is makarasana i know everybody knows this most relaxing pose take few breaths in and out Next pose we will do is a slide pose. So extend your both hands forward and both legs up as if you are flying. Only abdomen area is touching the mat. Superman pose, slide pose. Let's do the variation of that. Put both the palms under the thighs, palm facing upward. Lift the left leg up and support the left leg with the right leg. Bend and left. Place the right heel at the left 
knee. Your body is still touching the mat. and lower your legs. Take few breaths in and out and we will repeat on right side. So lift the right leg up. Place the right, sorry, place the left heel underneath the right knee. Toes pointing away. Rest of the body is on mat. Exhale, come back. Let's do one more variation of that. Make a fist by taking thumb inside and place the fist underneath your pelvis area, underneath your pelvis and thigh joint. And now, raise both legs up. Purna Sarvasana, full locus pose. Exhale. Come back. Go back to Makarasana, crocodile pose. Now let's do Bhujangasana. Place both the palms near your shoulder. Inhale, both feet together like cobra. Inhale and raise your body up, chest up, torso up, shoulder by the side, not pointing out. Or the Bhujangasana. Your pelvis area is still on the mat. Exhale, come back. Take few breaths in and out. We will do another variation of Bhujangasana in which we can take the hands little bit behind and try to lift our torso and body chest more up. So now take the hands little bit further toward your waist, inhale and go up, look up, exhale, slowly come back and go back to Makar Asana. Now let's do the bow pose, Dhanur Asana. So for that, you can take your hands next to the thigh and then bend your knee Bend your legs from me. Grab the left ankle with the left hand, right ankle with the right hand, and slowly lift your legs up, torso up, chest up. Exhale. Go slowly go back to 
मकर आसना Now put both hands under with your chin bone as if like you are watching TV and try to keep the your buttocks by the heel. If you can reach, if you cannot reach, that's fine. Whatever best you can do. Now let's do both feet together. Again, go back to Makarasana. Now, lie down on your back in Shavasana. Place both the hands beside your head and assume that somebody is pulling you like a rope. Try to stretch your hands and sit. Stick pose. Exhale. Come back to Shavasana. Now Let's do Pavan Muktasana. Being releasing force. So for that, bend your leg from knee and try to bring the knee close to your chest by pressing both with both arms on the shin bone, or you can place both the hands under the feet, whichever way works for you. And stand, simultaneously lift your head up and try to touch the chin to the knee. The other leg should be straight, toes pointing away. This is very good for digestion, removes all toxins from your body. Removes excess water from your body. Exhale. Relax. Now let's do another leg. Now bring both the legs close to the hip and twist it towards your take both the left both the knee towards the left side or right side whichever way you want to do first place on the ground open both the hands and look towards the other opposite side if you are taking knee towards right look at the left. You will feel twist in your abdominal area. Chatur Parivast Asana, reclining twist pose. Take both the knees up 
and take it to the other side. Change the face. If you are taking it towards left now, turn your face towards right. Make sure your both knees are touching ground to get the maximum benefit. Both hands are in one line in shoulder. Exhale, come back. Let's do the Naukasan. So, for Naukasan, there are different ways to go into the pose. You can gradually lift your torso up while lifting your legs up and try to transfer all your body weight on the tailbone area. If you have injury in tailbone, don't do this pose. And hands pointing towards the toe. You can do Purna Naukasana by taking legs further up. This is very good for core strength. Exhale. And go back to Shavasana. Let's do some inversion pose. Starting with the bridge pose. So place both the feet close to your buttocks. And with the hand, right hand grab the right ankle. Left hand grab the left ankle. And slowly lift your torso pelvis and torso up as much as you can. Your shoulder and head is on mat. If you feel you cannot lift much, you can place both the palm under the sacrum area and try to lift more such that your thighs are parallel to the mat and feet Sorry, the leg from knee to ankle is in one line. Set to one the asana bridge pose. If you have difficulty doing this pose, you can use the yoga blocks placed under your sacral area and try to slowly lift your pelvis up. Exhale, go back to Shavasana. Let's do Chakrasana. Wheel pose. Whoever can do it, they can do the wheel pose. And those who cannot do, they can do adult Kanasana. Just raise both legs up 90 degrees and slowly lower them each by each. No fresh landing. For those who cannot do the chakrasan, those who can do the chakrasan, please do that. I'm going to try today. Place both palms near your head and slowly try to lift your body up. When you come back, come back gradually. You have 
to avoid any injury. Lie down in Savasana. Take few breaths in and out. Now let's do Sarvangasana. If you want to place any blanket or shawl, something underneath your shoulders to avoid an injury, you can do that. Here your all body weight is rested on the shoulders, elbow. This is very good for very tall weight. This is mostly women says it for standing long time during the day. If you cannot do this pose just by yourself, do with the wall support or chair support. But doing this will help you in great benefit from very close leg and swelling in legs. Exhale. Bend your legs and slowly lower your back. You avoid any injury. Go back to Shavasana, take few breaths in and out, and then we will do Halasana. Now pose. Those who cannot do Halasana should do the bicycle pose, Dvi Chakri Asana. I think everyone knows, I don't need to show them. So either Dvi Chakri Asana or Halasana. I'm going to do the Halasana. Don't give your support from the back until your legs are lifted. Slowly wrap up your pose in few seconds. Now let's do the complimentary pose since we did the halasana. Bend both the legs and hug the legs by wrap the hands around like wind release pose with the both feet this will be very good pose you can roll on right you can roll on left and front and back this will be very good massage for your back Lie down again in Shavasana.
let's do the last two pose of the this session one is head stand shirasan i'm going to try with the wall support but who whoever can do it without any wall support they should practice it other try with the wall support if you are comfortable if not you can just do the leg rotation and then we will do matsya pose fish pose as the last pose so let's do the shoulder stand first so head stand first and the others will do leg rotation Place your both hands, lock your palms, and place your top of the head and lock with your palms and try to slowly walk. To cannot, the cannot see you, Kinnari. You are you are completely out of the camera. Okay, good. Thank you, thank you, Piyush. Now lift your legs up and try to rest. against the wall if you are advanced practitioner you can do without wall support that's great i know many of our yoga practitioner can do it including bakul bhai he can talk for 10 minutes in shishasan and he is inspiring all of us so let's try This is king of asana. It will give you the same benefit if you do with the wall support as if you are doing without any support. So benefits are same. I will encourage everyone to try with the wall support. I noticed Deepak did it without support, and I think he yeah. used to do with the wall support, and now he is doing without support. Great, and I see couple more people did it. Slowly try to come back. When you come back, go back to. the relaxing pose don't don't get up right away all the blood that came to your head should be distributed even Let's lie down in Swarasana and let's do the fish pose. I think everyone wrapped up, so let's do the fish pose. While Bakul Bhai set up the yoga nidra. So lie down in Swarasana. Take your both. Hands underneath the buttock. Slowly lift your torso up by putting the top of the head on the mat. Your toes pointing away. Try to look back, or you can close the eyes. Whichever you feel comfortable. Fish pose, Matsya asana, 
This is called the destroyer of all the diseases. And everybody can do it. Exhale. Come back. Before we start Yoginda, if you want to cover up and if you want to switch off your lights, please do so before we start the Yoginda. Okay, make any final adjustments, final movements and make sure the body is completely still. Breathe in and out normal. And uh, generally once I start the audio, just raise the hands, thumbs up, just to make sure that audio is good. Sure. Okay, I'm starting soon. अब आप गहरी सांसें लेना शुरू करें गहरी सांस अंदर और बाहर एक बार फिर से गहरी सांस अंदर और बाहर पुनः एक बार अंदर आती हुई सांस आपको ताजगी दे रही है शक्ति दे रही है और बाहर जाती हुई सांस आपके तनाव टेंशन तकलीफों को आपसे दूर ले जा रही है और अब आपका मन शांत तो होने लगा है आसपास के आवाजों के साक्षी बनिए उनके साथ कोई लड़ाई नहीं करनी है सिर्फ उनको सुनना है एक साक्षी भाव और अब धीरे धीरे आपका शरीर ढीला पड़ने लगा है और जो जो आपका शरीर ढीला पड़ रहा है आपका मन शांत होने लगा है जो भी हो रहा है उसको होने दें किसी भी अनुभव को जज ना करें अब अपनी चेतना को अपने पैर की उंगलियों पे ले जाएं लेफ्ट टोस एंड राइट टोस उसको अपने मन की आंखों से देखें महसूस करें और ढीला छोड़ें अब अपने ध्यान को अपने दोनों एंकल्स या टखनों पे ले जाएं एंकल में मौजूद तनाव को टेंशन को महसूस करें और ढीला छोड़ें दोनों टखने विश्राम कर रहे हैं अब अपनी चेतना को धीरे से अपने दोनों पिंडलियों या काफ मसल्स पे ले जाएं। वहां की संवेदनाओं के साक्षी बनिए और धीरे से दोनों पिंडलियों को ढीला छोड़ें शिथिल करें आपके घुटने के नीचे का भाग शिथिल हो चुका है ढीला हो चुका है रिलैक्स हो चुका है इस विश्राम को अपने अंदर अनुभव करिए अपनी चेतना को अब अपने दोनों जांघों पर ले जाएं, लेफ्ट थाई एंड राइट था वहां की मांसपेशियों को महसूस करें वहां मौजूद टेंशन को स्ट्रेस को देखें और ढीला छोड़ें दोनों जांग 
रिलैक्स हो चुके हैं शिथिल हो चुके हैं अब अपनी चेतना को दोनों कूल्हों के ऊपर ले जाएं, लेफ्ट हिप एंड द राइट हिप एंड रिलैक्स द मसल्स ऑफ योर हिप्स एंड थाइस चूल्हे की मांसपेशियां ढीली हो रही हैं रिलैक्स हो रही हैं अब अपनी चेतना को अपने पेट और कमर के निचले हिस्से पे ले जाएं, उसको महसूस करें देखें और ढीला छोड़ें अब अपनी चेतना को अपनी छाती पर लाइए छाती की मांसपेशियों को ढीला छोड़ें आराम दें विश्राम दें अपनी चेतना को पीठ के ऊपरी हिस्से पे लाइए वहां मौजूद तनाव के साक्षी बने उसको देखें और ढीला छोड़ें पूरा शरीर ढीला हो रहा है रिलैक्स्ड हो रहा है और आपका मन एक गहन विश्राम में उतरता चला जा रहा है इस विश्राम के साक्षी बनिए अब अपनी चेतना को अपने दोनों कंधे लेफ्ट शोल्डर एंड द राइट शोल्डर पर लाएं दोनों कंधे विश्राम कर रहे हैं ढीले हो रहे हैं रिलैक्स हो रहे हैं अपने ध्यान को अब अपनी दाएं बाह और बाईं बाह के ऊपर ले जाएं टेंशन ऑन लेफ्ट आर्म एंड राइट आर्म देखें महसूस करें ढीला छोड़ें हाथ की उंगलियों को भी ढीला छोड़ें रिलैक्स करने दें जो जो आपकी मांसपेशियां रिलैक्स कर रही हैं आपका मन एक गहन विश्राम में डीप रिलैक्सेशन में उतरता चला जा रहा है अब अपने ध्यान को अपने गर्दन के ऊपर ले जाएं। गर्दन में मौजूद तनाव को टेंशन को महसूस करें और गर्दन के रेशे रेशे को ढीला छोड़ें आराम करने दें आप एक गहन विश्राम में उतरते जा रहे हैं जो विचार आए उन विचारों को आने दें उससे कोई लड़ाई नहीं करनी उससे कोई झगड़ा नहीं करना अपनी चेतना को अपने चेहरे के ऊपर ले जाएं, दाई आंख बाई आंख ऊपर का होठ नीचे का होठ आपके गाल और संपूर्ण चेहरा चेहरे के सारे मांसपेशियों को विश्राम करने दें ढीला छोड़ें और अब आप अपनी चेतना को सिर के पिछले हिस्से पे ले जाएं और सिर के पिछले हिस्से को पूरी तरह से ढीला छोड़ें रिलैक्स करें ज्यो ज्यो आपका शरीर रिलैक्स हो रहा है आपका मन एक गहन विश्राम में उतरता चला जा रहा है और ज्यो ज्यो आपका मन गहन विश्राम में जा रहा है आपके शरीर की मांसपेशियां और शिथिल हो रही हैं और ढीली पड़ रही हैं संपूर्ण बायां पैर 
शिथिल हो चुका है संपूर्ण दाया पैर रिलैक्स्ड हो चुका है ढीला पड़ चुका है पेट छाती की मांसपेशियां आराम कर रही हैं विश्राम कर रही हैं संपूर्ण पीठ की मांसपेशियां ढीली पड़ रही हैं रिलैक्स्ड पड़ रही हैं गर्दन विश्राम कर रहा है चेहरा ढीला पड़ रहा है सिर का हिस्सा पूरी तरह से शिथिल हो चुका है अब आप किसी ऐसी जगह को इमेजिन करें जहां पे कि आप आराम से विश्राम कर सकते हैं कि कोई बीच हो सकता है समंदर का किनारा हो सकता है या ये कोई गार्डन हो सकता है वहां आराम से लेट जाए इमेजिन करिए कि आप एक गार्डन में लेटे हुए हैं और यहां की ताजी हवा आपको और विश्राम दे रही है तितलियां आपके आसपास उड़ रही हैं और जब आप इनको देखते हैं तो आपका मन शांत हो रहा है ठंडी हवा के झोंके आपके शरीर को एक मसाज दे रहे हैं नरम नरम घासों को अपने शरीर से छूते हुए महसूस करें आप इस टेम्परेचर को इंजॉय कर रहे हैं और आपका मन एक गहन विश्राम में उतरता जा रहा है जो भी तनाव आपके शरीर में था मैजिन करिए वो भाप की तरह आपके शरीर से उड़ता जा रहा है आपका शरीर और ढीला पड़ रहा है आपका मन और शांत हो रहा है इस स्टेट में मैं आपको कुछ सजेशंस देता हूं अपने मन में पूरे कन्विक्शन के साथ पूरी दृढ़ता के साथ पूरी मजबूती के साथ ये दोहराएं कि मैं शक्तिशाली हूं आई एम पावरफुल मैं शक्तिशाली हूं आई एम पावरफुल आई एम बिकमिंग हेल्दी मैं स्वस्थ हो रहा हूं आई एम बिकमिंग हेल्दी मैं स्वस्थ हो रहा हूं आई एम बिकमिंग रिच मैं धनवान हो रहा हूं मैं धनवान हो रहा हूं आई एम बिकमिंग सक्सेसफुल मैं सफल बन रहा हूं और इसी आनंद को महसूस करते हुए इस रिलैक्सेशन का आनंद लेते हुए ये जानते हुए कि ब्रह्मांड की सबसे बड़ी शक्ति आपके साथ हमेशा है और हमेशा रहेगी अब आप वापस आने के लिए तैयार हैं अब मैं एक से पांच गिनूंगा मेरे पांच गिनने के साथ साथ आप धीरे से अपनी आंखें खोलेंगे एक आसपास की आवाजों को सुनना शुरू करें दो अपने शरीर को थोड़ा थोड़ा हिलाना शुरू करें तीन अपने पैरों को मोड़ लें चार अपने शरीर को हिलाएं डुलाएं और पांच गिव बॉडी अ गुड स्ट्रेच गेट इन टू द उस्टिकासन स्टिक पोज देन टर्न द बॉडी टॉवर्स राइट साइड then with both the support of the palms just come back sit into any comfortable posture rub the palms against each other 
generate heat and place them over eyes and face. Massage the eyelids. Gently slide the hands down as we open the eyes. Okay, so we have about four minutes. So I will let Kinnari continue with the cooling down and the closing prayer. Kinnari, back to you. Thank you, Bhakti. We have only few minutes left, so we will do Anulong Vilong Pranayama. Put, put your uh, palm in Vayu Mudra and uh, the right, right hand in Vishnu Mudra. You will start with inhaling on left. And if you can hold, hold it for few minutes or seconds and then exhale from right and then we will repeat the same thing inhale from right hold and exhale from left make sure your hand is parallel to the mat and straight so your lungs will be open Let's do Anulong Vilong with the mantra. If you know, I can, um, when you are inhaling, say Om Bua, Om Bua Swa, Om Swaha, Om Maha, Om Jana, Om Tapa, Om Satya. And then hold the breath. You can check the Gayatri Mantra while holding the breath. O Purbu Asa Tatsa Vidurva Eya Vargo Deva Kya Vishma Ji Vigo Yota Prasurva Yaha And exhale, chant Om Apo Jyoti Vaso Amritam Brahma Om Bhu Om Bhuva Om Swara Om Ap And just repeat this mantra again. So whenever you are inhaling, again inhale from right. Om Bhuva, Om Bhuva, Om Swara, Om Maha, Om Jana, Om Tapa, Om Satya. Hold. Om Purdu Asya Dachsa Vitudva Eva Kargo Devasya Vivahi Vyo Yoda Prachodaya. And when exhale, Apo Jyoti Raso Amritam Brahma Om Bhuva Om Bhuva Om Swara Om You can repeat this. This will help you go in meditation. So let's do one time. Change this time in mind. Relax. Let's chant Om three times. Sounding A, U, and Om. So inhale. A.
Thank you so much, Kennedy and Smita Ben. So, um, as you know, Smita Ben is doctor. She is a psychiatrist and uh, working office in DC. And Kennedy is master in civil engineering. So, we are so blessed that we have uh, highly educated people teaching us yoga. Excellent. Thank you so much, both of you. Thank you, Dr. And. Um, at 10 30 apne shahnai jaltarang program 10 30 musical event so let's meet again at 10 30 for the musical program and in our surya namaskar session tomorrow morning we will see you all tomorrow morning i just want to say all engineers remember Sita ben says that if you have difficulty meditating Multiply your thoughts by zero and you will be able to multiply. <laughs> right, so this week, right, that's right. Well, thank you very much. Just go focus on pulse and you will be able to meditate. Oh, how nice, Kinari. You are also, your personality is pure and vibrant. Kinari, I have stayed with my classes. Thank you very much, everyone for joining. I just want to say that I was in a class with Kinnery, uh, with Divine Yoga, uh, while practicing 50 hours a day. I did this 200 hour of class and Kinnery was keeping me up to date on each and every classes, what to do, what to practice. So I really thank Kinnery and I also thank Bapulbai that I found this DC group of cyber yogis. All right. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Sadawan. Thank, Thank you, everybody. And good morning, Jai Krishna. We didn't get chance at beginning. Everybody, Jai Krishna. Have a wonderful rest of the day and long weekend, Memorial Day. Yes. Thank you. All dedicated yogis who are doing yoga in Memorial Day. Thank you. Yes. Audience. So we will. We will not skip we will not skip um the surya namaskar so we'll see you all in morning yeah. and and after that if you have to go joe biden's memorial day program then you can go afterward <laughs> yes that's correct we have to make the challenge of 108 sun salutation oh no we we are we are planning it so so let's plan it out like we'll see when we're going to do that yeah, what about the Kale, the Kale,